Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and let's make a very big beach bag. And what's really great is there is a free pattern online and it is from Blank Fabrics. The fabric is also from Blank Fabrics, but you could use this pattern with any fabric at all. It just happens to look really cute with the fabric that they've chosen. So let's go through the materials that we're going to need. So the first thing we're going to need is this pattern. I'll put a link in the description for you. Of course, some thread and some grommets. Now, if you cannot find these in the Notion department, go look in the drapery department because the drapery has the bigger grommets. The fabric, and the fabric is adorable. It has all of the summer theme to it, which will be very, very cute. And instead of doing a handle with fabric, I want to do a rope handle. And if you're going to use rope, make sure that the rope will fit inside the grommets. And after you tie the knot, the rope is not going to come out of the grommets. The next thing is some fusible fleece. Now, Pellon makes a nice fusible fleece and it is a nice weight and it's polyester so it's going to hold up in the wash and it fuses on which makes it a lot easier to use. So the first thing we need to do is make the inside of the bag and it should be 19 and a half inches by 23 and a half inches. In the directions there are no pockets and I'm going to show you how to add some pockets if you choose to. And take any size that you want and match up the sizes. So this is going to be one very big pocket and it's 12 by 13. So put your two pieces together, sew all the way around, leaving an opening at the bottom and turn it right side out and press it. The other pocket is going to be on the other side and it's going to be a long and thin pocket. Again, just take your two pieces of the same size Put them right sides together and sew all the way around a quarter inch, leaving a little opening to turn them right side out. So after you've sewn this all together, clip off your corners. It's important that you clip off the corners because that way when you turn it right side out, you're going to be able to get a nice square corner. So trim all four corners from both pockets, turn it right side out and press it. Now that it's been pressed, you don't have to worry about the bottom seam because you're going to stitch that in later. But what you need to do is do a row of stitching. You can do one or two rows of stitching along the top and that's just going to keep the layers together so that they don't come apart like this in the pocket. Now for the placement of these pockets on the inside, you need to take a couple of things into consideration. The bottom is going to have a little flat bottom. So the pocket must come up at least four inches. And the top is going to have a grommet in it, so you have to make sure that the pocket goes below the grommet mark. So find the center of the bag and place the pocket in so that you know you're not going to stitch it through the grommet and you're not going to stitch it through the bottom. When the pocket is in place, then you need to stitch around the three sides. If you have a long pocket, you can sew two lines or one line so that you'll make the one pocket into smaller pockets. Pockets are done. After the pockets have been sewn on, I would recommend to take a piece of fusible interfacing and take about four inches and iron a four inch strip along the top of both the bag linings. This bag is gonna be a very big bag. It's going to hold a lot of things, which is gonna make it heavy. It'll just give it a little bit extra security. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mark the grommet placement. We're not doing the grommets now. We're just going to mark the placement because it's a lot easier to mark it when the fabric is flat. So find the center of the bag and go over five inches from your center mark. So you have 10 inches apart. Now mark down one inch and the grommets are going to go in the area one inch down. That one inch is the area that you're going to sew. So the grommet is going to go one inch below. Here's your one inch mark and your grommet is going to go here because you need room to be able to sew. 
So from here, what you do is you take the smallest part of the grommet and draw the circle. And there is your marking. You need two for the front and you need two for the back. And then just leave them alone because you'll work with these after. Place the right sides together. Now we're going to mark the bottom. At the bottom, we need to mark a three inch square. So you need to go up three inches and across three inches. And if you have a ruler that can give you a three inch square, that's what you need to mark in both corners. Now you only need to do the three inch squares on one side because this is going to be a cutting line. Now with both the sides together, you're going to back stitch, sew all the way to that drawn line and back stitch again. For the bottom, you're going to start and you're going to go over a couple of inches, back stitch, start at the square again, back stitch, go over a couple inches. Because you are going to need this to turn out when the bag is finished. So you need to leave a good amount of space here. Because if not, you're going to try to turn that whole bag into a small space. It's not going to work. So definitely leave a good amount of space. Now I'm going to cut out that three inch square and do it on both sides. This is going to give us a box corner. You want to sew those two seams together and by doing that open up the bag until the bottom seam and the side seam match up. Now you're going to be able to sew along this edge which is your three inch square and sew it at a quarter inch and do it to both sides. With that seam sewn, it makes a nice square bottom to your bag. For the front of the bag, I've chosen two different fabrics. I have the lovely striped fabric, and I also have the black fabric. It's 6.5 by 23.5. This is 13.5 by 23.5. Match up the seam and sew the seams together. And that is going to make one big piece of fabric. After you've pressed it, it needs to be pressed onto the fusible fleece. The fusible fleece has two sides. One is a very soft side. The other side feels like little bumps on it. The little bumps are glue. You need to take the glue side and iron it onto the top so that the two pieces become one. And do that to both pieces. The fusible fleece is going to be 19 and a half by 23 and a half because this is what this works out to be. Now at this point, if you want, you can actually take this and quilt it. And just as before, we need to sew the right sides together. We need to mark in each of the corners our three inch square. We're going to back stitch, stitch all the way to our mark of our three inch square, and we're going to stop there because we want to put some side pockets on and it will be easier to put the side pockets on without the bottom sewn. Cut off the three inch square. Take it to the iron and iron the seam down the center flat and open. Along the side of the bag we are going to add some pockets. The directions tell you to take a piece of fabric five and a half by eighteen and a half, fold it in half right sides together and then you're going to sew it just like you did the inside pockets sewing the two sides, turning it right side out, and pressing it. But I'm going to show you another way to do a pocket. I want to have a pocket that's going to fit a bottle of pop or a bottle of water on the side. So I'm going to want a bigger pocket. So start with a 6 inch by 24 inch. Fold it together, right side, and then stitch down both sides and you do not need to do any stitching here and turn it right side out and press it flat. So for the pocket that they recommended like we did on the inside you're going to take this pocket and place it on the side and stitch down three sides and that way you will have the pocket. And this is the one that did not have any stitching here. This will fit right into the bottom of that three inch square that you cut out. So now you're able to again sew 
stitch down and sew back. However, this will be caught into the bottom of the bag, so this pocket will be right to the bottom of the bag. So we have the large pocket and we have the smaller pocket, both on the side seams. Now we can turn the bag back to the wrong side and matching up the side seams, your squares, you need to stitch the bottom of the bag and you don't need to leave an opening here. And then just as before, fold those to meet and stitch along these edges. Now we can turn the bag right side out. So we have the outer bag and the lining. We need to put the two of them together and they need to match right sides. So put the two bags together and line up the side seams. Stitch the top together all the way around. Now through that bottom opening you're able to take the bag out. So there's the lining and the big opening in the lining. So just fold these seams inside and close that up. Push the lining into the bag matching up that top seam where the outside of the bag and the inside of the bag match. And then top stitch a quarter inch all the way around. Now the way to do the grommet is you need to cut out the hole so that the grommet can go around. But because there's a couple of layers here, I would recommend that you take and do a line of stitching around that circle that you drew. And it doesn't have to be too, too fussy because the sewing is going to be covered by the grommet. Now you do not want to sew in the area that's going to be cut out. And you need to cut that hole out. Now grommets come in two parts. They snap together. The larger one is the ring that goes on the outside. Now you're able to snap that on. Put your rope through the grommet and tie your knot. What a great bag. It's nice and big. It has a nice flat bottom because of that three inch square that we cut out and it is washable. This would make up nice in many different fabrics. It would really be nice also in a diaper bag, especially if you put the big pockets on the side for baby bottles. I'll put a link in the description to the fabric from Blank called Beach Party and to the pattern so you're able to follow along. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.